All right, crew. Here's the sitch. Um, prep the door. New cam is in. I had to uh, go find a 716 bolt because I neglected to read on the comp site, even though it's not a comp cam, but it's made by comp. Anyway, I neglected to read on their site that they use a um, 716 cam bolt. Um, problem solved. Thank you, Pip Boys. Uh, anyway, so double roller chain is back on. Everything seems to be in good shape, so I didn't bother with any of this stuff. Blankety blank, uh, retaining plate, lock tight it up. Um, let's see, I mean, obviously the heads are on, you've already seen that. Uh, nothing to really see under here except for keeping these on to keep the dust out. 716th rocker studs, yay. Um, oh, I put the lifters back in, plus the dog bones and uh, the spider. Uh, so that was cool. But the problem is, when I was doing that, I was pouring some oil down in this valley to uh, so I could use it to lube up the boards, and I got a little bit of oil down in here. I don't think you'll be able to see that, or maybe a little bit. Uh, uh, it's so dark. Anyway. So I got a little bit of oil down in there, and I'm trying to figure out a way to get that out. Other than that, not too bad though. You know, just coming along. Um, there, got a bunch of random tools and bolts. I'll pick those up. Uh, here are the pump with retainers, Pro Magnum rocker arms. Sexy pieces they are. Uh, trying to get some compressed air to clean off the engine. I got the old front seal out of this thing, that was a bitch and a half. Here's the new one, I was like, oh, new one, how hard it's gonna be to get the old one out? I'll show you how hard it was to get the old one out, because I turned it into this, okay? I mean, that's, that was not easy to do. This is not plastic here, this is, this is metal. I mean, you know, that took some insane lead. Like, that was stupid, that was dumb, moving on. Uh, this used to be on the front of the cam, I'm not sure exactly what it is, I think it's some kind of Re cam bolt retainer, but as I was tightening it, the uh, new cam pin button, damn it, focus, the new cam, whatever it is, the little thing that lines it up, it's too long, start bending this, and I'm like, oh, okay, so I just got rid of it, screw it, and this stuff is impossible to drill out, I mean, maybe I just have this stupid drill bit, but, like, it took me 10 minutes to do this, you should have seen the, the washer, anyway, enough of me bitching, there's the old 3 8 uh, studs, here's the new under seal, let's see how that front end will seal up, I'm a little worried, um, here's all those other seals, which you might have already seen. And now, for the super special bonus round, we go inside the house. And, oh, fuel components in the mail. I'm gonna open that in a second. And here is the Walbro, super tiny, seriously smaller than I thought it would be. The Walbro, um, I think it's a 190 LPH. I don't remember the, is the code on here? I think it's like a 190. Three GSL 394. That's it. Um, oh, and I'm getting a call. Be right back. Sorry, now to continue the bonus round, um, here are the little connectors it came with. I got this off of Site ATE, I believe it's called. Um, I think I still should have that thing sitting around. No, maybe not. Uh, yeah, it's the injection site. Um, good stuff. So it came with a sleeve mounting hardware, uh, 10 mil to 6 AN fittings. And now, Ooh, comp cams, yum yum. There's the uh, sweet for, uh, sheet from Flowtech, uh, cam spec sheet. It's a secret, you know, you still get to see it. Uh, Come on, bouncer tool, big cam. So much good stuff. Now to see, this is actually one of two packages I'm expecting today. What is in the box? So, bear with me. Black bear with me for a second. Or maybe brown bear. As I open this up, and you will also be the first eyes. Well, I mean, technically, I'm seeing this way before I'm uploading it, but you know what I mean. You will be just as amazed as I am at the spectacle. All right. So they gave me jack stickers. Cool, because I want those. Uh, for some reason, they keep never sending me those. They gave me some catalog things. Cool. Uh, a few bags, but that's not what you're here for. Nah, haha. -ha. Mm, not tasty. It's uh, six foot of 6 AN stainless hose nitrile liner. Nom 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 nom. For fuel. Um, and again, I believe four feet of it, if I remember correctly. Uh, what I ordered. Which I put it. What does it say? Uh, it says on the back, of course. Yep. Four feet. Uh, well, this thing does not like to focus. Anyway. A um, bunch of random promotional materials, and here, equally as important, a bunch of stuff. Here is um, 
6 a.m. to wait. 6 push lock? That's not what I ordered. I don't think I ordered that. Hmm. Oh, you know what? This will probably work for the 3 eighths. That's probably why they sent it. Because I said I wanted a uh, into 3 eighths. Yes, I did. Uh, I'm going to use this as the pickup uh, out of the tank, I think. Unless it's too small. Um, yep. Two of these. 6 to 8 reducer. I'm going to use these for the fuel rail that I'm expecting any moment now. Um, because the inputs on the fuel rail are 8. Uh, here is the back to 3 eighths hose barb uh, from an 8. And I'll use that to use the stock hardline return. Because the, the hardline return will be fine. Um, here's a sexy little piece, the pressure, right, god damn it, why cannot, it, mm, fo focus, focus, whatever, dumb shit, anyway, but here it is, um, I'm gonna attach this to the fuel rig, so I can see my beautiful fuel pressure, and the last, and pretty much least, no, I'm just kidding, is the inline fuel filter, uh, good stuff, replaceable, I'm just gonna throw this right onto the, actually, I can probably do it right now, Throw this right onto the end of the pump as an inline attachment. Um, see, that goes in there, goes in there. You see how it works. Probably throw it before the pump, um, keep all the debris out of it, if any debris. Actually, I don't like really trust my fuel tanks, probably a lot. Anyway, well, I just did me running through all this stuff. It's like, a, it's like Christmas in whatever month this is, February right now. So, yep, progress, boys and girls, progress. I'll be back with my fuel bed.